Hi Deepak. Hi. Hi guys. Welcome back to Sudhi Podio channel. We've all seen your journey and know much more about you. And uh, a lot of people have asked to know many other things. So we'll start off by knowing how did it feel when you received the news that you won a Grammy award which is like the Oscars for music. When the news came like um I thought it was fake also. When <laughs> and who called you? Or? Like uh, I received an email from one person like uh, at uh, Grammys. dot com. So first I thought it was a fake or something. Like we get an email, you're getting a one one lakh rupees or something. Some right. fake. I thought right. it was like that. So when we were like uh, I was in Panchatan, like in Chennai, we were doing uh, mixing for Ravan. So Ravan. Yeah. Okay. So Mani Ratnam sir and all everyone were there. So I asked sir, uh, I asked Ramanand sir, sir uh, I got an uh, email from this. So is it authentic or not? Like so he was also not sure that uh, like after three months of the main awards uh, finish, uh, all this happened. So he said really, I, uh, so let me check out. So he also checked. Uh, and, uh, Oh, so, so the Grammys uh, people don't announce before the awards or no. It like so what happens is like imagine an album, album wins. So at least one album will have at least three or four engineers. Like say the lyricists will be like at least one, like or two. So there are uh, like if one uh, one album wins, there will be at least like a ten or fifteen uh, technicians. So imagine if they announce all like, uh, you are nominated like before, so there will be at least hundred only in one category. So that's why what they do is they collect all the uh, information, everything, and they they send the emails and all. So that's what happened. Like so, this that was the confirmation email, and like if I acknowledge like yeah, this is me and everything, then then all the paperwork and all would start. But I was not so sure and all. So when I, I showed the email and uh, to so he felt very happy because till that like uh, like our most senior uh, most engineer like H. Sridhar, uh, Sridhar sir actually was like even while filling off all the credits he was like so happy and like say hey this is a like this this will be going to get nominations and all. I was also not sure that like. All the movie, uh, like movie screenplay and all that, it get get it get nominated and all. But while we are doing, uh, uh, while we are working for a more project or anything, we don't we don't aim for like okay this will go for uh, Oscars, so we have to work in hard. Or uh, if it's like a, uh, it's like every work is like every, like how uh, how much hard work we have to do, that much we worked and all. And we hardly had time. Like in one week, we had to finish the whole album, and we sent it off. So, but you must have put in a lot of hours, no? Though it is one week, but you must have worked really hard on yes, the mixing. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that time, like so many movies happening around, like Kajni, Yuvraj was happening. So, so many other movies were happening. India, like Bollywood movies were happening. And uh, even when we have worked, I was working to that. Like I asked him, like, uh, is it a Documentary movie or a discovery documentary or something. Deepak, we had done uh, a small posting on our Facebook page mm -hmm. where we asked engineers and even musicians if they were interested to know certain things or tips and tricks from you. So over a series of such videos, we'll keep asking you about certain information that will be useful to all people who are watching the video. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Bharat Venkateshan. He asks if you can share tips on layering percussion, something like the lines of Taiko's in Jai Ho or Azim Oshan, Shahin Shah, and Jodha Akbar, etc. Yeah. So, how do you layer percussion if you could share with us? Please? What I learned when uh, when I was working with Ranjit Baro, or when, when before, even before that, like when I was tracking in Vishakapatnam, like all. Um, 
I worked with many big classical artists, Indian Carnatic classical artists and all. Where the first and foremost thing is, rhythm means you need to follow the mathematical situation, like say, um, or like a, you should not uh, traffic jam a track, like uh, now I've, uh, like I programmed a bass, on that another kick, on that another a low drum, on that another, instead of that, we need to separate the whole uh, spectrum, like uh, if we are putting a bass, a bass guitar, and the next, uh, a next beat would be uh, a little lower, lower one, which where you need to balance the whole, uh, uh, the whole, the complete beat, like say, so, uh, say, when a snare comes, you don't need to hit a kick. So what happens is, uh, like, like that you'll say, but while programming, like that you can't program. So what happens is we have to uh, uh, keep, uh, keep little, little uh, uh, breaks where when a snare comes, you should not have another one. Or when uh, uh, you should give everything a l so much of in importance. Like um, I just programmed; it's a Western group. But the thing is, when we uh, when we go in details, when the bass comes, when the kick doesn't come, like that. It's one song. I'll just show you. So this is a bass group uh, where I just uh, mix and matched all the things, and I made a, a group of it. So. have already got the low end so you don't need a kick on the start already like say boom. so where I, I I have a kick whenever there's no bass guitar coming up like of it like harmony like how every like uh, this groove what it did was like I did uh, like uh, put a like a bass guitar comes so that kick doesn't hit it so that uh, frequency wise also that low end doesn't uh, uh, mismatch and you don't need to cut so much so much of frequencies while uh, mixing and all all this will be very easier while we program itself if we concentrate on frequencies, then uh, you don't need to do so much of stuff in uh, mixing and all stuff. Like when bass guitar comes, then I'm not putting a kick. So what happens is. So if you see it cleanly, like whenever the bass guitar is not playing, I'm putting a kick. Like this. And there's a clean dead spot here. So So the groove is much tighter. And when when hi hats So basically I added some more loops. So I showed you the kick and drum and like a uh, western mode of a uh, bass and uh, drum groove. So it's it applies in the same uh, state like you want to put a taiko instead of a kick if you want to put a uh, tabla uh, chatty instead of a snare so basically at the end of the day you have to you should not uh, clumsy it of uh, like uh, lots of elements it, uh, if you put it it will be like a traffic jam situation so you, you should just uh, filter it uh, filter your groove once the groove is tight then your song is much tighter like if you have this groove, you can play anything like So it's easier, 
easier. You can pull if the tra track is much tighter. You can do anything on it. Right. Thank you for this. Yeah.